This is a quick patch demonstration on how to achieve polyphony with sample and holds. Three sample and hold modules are receiving the same pitch sequence from Ableton Live via the MIDI to CV converter. The Make Noise Tempe is creating three different clock divisions which allow each sample and hold to grab different notes at different times from the main sequence and distribute them among the different oscillators. Two oscillators are coming from the Make Noise DPO and the Piston Honda is configured as a stereo wavetable oscillator. Right now we're hearing the saw wave output from the left oscillator on the DPO. And this is the wave folder output from the right oscillator on the DPO. You can hear that it's receiving some timbral modulation as well. And now you're hearing the two oscillators from the Piston Honda in stereo. It is also receiving some timbral modulation, which I can exaggerate. The output of each sample and hold is normaled to the input of a full wave rectifier. The output of each full wave rectifier is providing the timbral modulation for the patch, which allows the timbre of each sound to follow its own melodic motion. This is still the same sequence coming from Ableton Live, but the start point has been changed, which allows the sampled holds to grab new notes and create new harmonies. Sample and holds are great tools to maximize a single sequence. Even just one sample and hold can be used to create an evolving bass line or counter melody. What is unique about these sample and holds is that they are specifically designed to process quantized CV and can hold voltages for up to 10 minutes with virtually no droop. A patch like this would be hard to achieve with ordinary sample and hold modules. I'll pull out the gates and we can hear a steady chord 